Hi, it's Carl here for ProV TV, and today I'm joined by Richard from Holden. So we've just had an open day here at Proactive where we're talking about all of Holden's products. So what does that cover? Um, we've got Panasonic Broadcast, we've mm -hmm. got Blackmagic Design, Teradex, Small HD, Paralynx, and a few other manufacturers besides. Awesome. And what we're we talking about here today? What I've got is the Blackmagic Design Micro Studio Camera. Right. So this is, this is our smallest 4K camera. And I've um, got it connected to a Blackmagic Design uh, 4K monitor, UHD mm -hmm. monitor, which is behind you, which is the Smart View 4K um, through SDI connection. And this sort of camera is perfect for, for a studio environment where you need a small form factor camera. Also, the cost is really low. It's, it's less than a thousand pounds. So it has a micro four thirds sensor and it can be completely remote controlled through an SDI input from any of the Blackmagic Atom Vision Mixers. So with a Blackmagic Atom Vision Mixer, a laptop and this, you can remote control this camera. You've got full CCU control of it over um, iris and uh, shutter speed. The colorimetry of the camera can all be tweaked uh, remotely. Cool. You've also got an HDMI output, which we've got set up here, so you can control it. There's a menu system mm. on board just, the camera. Which you can't see on the camera, there's a small row of buttons here on the side, which is just basically a menu up and down. Well, that's what cutaways are for. Yeah. Set and a um, <laughs> power on and off. So. Yeah, so, so we're, yeah, you know, I think because it's so small from there, it's going to look like a oh, matchbox. Yeah. We'll, so. we'll show them close. <laughs> yeah, so, so yes, you've got, you've got the full control over, uh, over it manually, but really it's designed for remote operation. And mm. you, you might have noticed this thing rather like a, um, a bad hairstyle coming out of the side of it, <laughs> this breakout cable, which is supplied with the camera, gives you quite a few more options as well. Okay. We've got, for instance, we've got 12 watt power in, although it yep. can be powered by a, a a Canon EP6 battery on the back yep. as well. So it's the same batteries as the Canon DSLRs, things like that. that. That's right. And you've got a S-Bus connector. So, mm -hmm. so if you've got a radio link or using this on a drone, um, you can use the S-Bus to, to remote control all the features. Um, we've also got a B4 lens control. Mm -hmm. So if you're using an adapter to, to convert the micro four thirds to a B4 lens, you're able to uh, control the, the zooming and the iris uh, on, on a B4 broadcast lens. Yep. And we've got a ref in, so again in a studio, this will let you save that extra important one frame for a live environment mm -hmm. uh, by locking everything together. And we've got uh, as a lank control as well, yep. which so you can control the zoom and the iris on if you've got a lens which is compatible with that system. So quite a bit on this. Oh, and finally, we've got a PTZ control. So if this is on a pan tilt zoom head, through that SDI, through that single SDI input, you're able to control it, uh, the PTZ head as well, just from having a couple of cables connected. Brilliant. So, so it's a very fully featured miniature camera. So, I mean, this is obviously going to fit into an existing sort of studio setup. That's think? right. Really, the sort of environment they're envisaging this being in is, a, mm. you know, something like a broom closet studio, or, okay. or if you wanted to rig something high in the corner of a room, and it's the only way to get that angle, but still have full control over the camera. Mm. So, you know, PTZ cameras are, are fantastic in that sort of environment, but they don't give you the shallow depth of field, which is possible, or the lens flexibility that's possible mm. with an interchangeable system like this. So uh, the lens. I've got on it at the moment, displaying on this monitor, is actually a 0.95, so we're getting terribly short depth of field or narrow depth of field. You and know, that's a fully manual... And it's a fully manual lens, mm. yeah. But you can, get, um, you can get lenses from Panasonic and from Olympus, which will give you a, a, a zoom control over the CCU interface. So you'll be able to zoom them and change the iris remotely from the Atom uh, vision mixer via your laptop input. And is that the normal Panasonic Micro Four Thirds lenses that you people right. would be used to from that, GH4 there, and there stuff are a couple, like that? That's right, but, but only a couple of them have this servo zoom. If they right. say they have a servo zoom, then you'll be able to control the zoom. Right. The other ones, you'll just be able to control the, the iris on. Okay. So, so really it gives you a huge amount of flexibility and mm. uh, for a very low cost. So is there anything that the big, well I say big, it's yeah, still very small, large but the larger one with the screen does the that this doesn't? The larger one is 12GB SDI, so it's right. capable of doing 4K or UHD at 50p or 60p. This one right. is limited to 25p or 30p, so yes, the, the full-size studio camera can do those higher frame rates. Okay, and that's the only thing? That's the only thing. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here, really. That's right, yeah. and especially if you need something which is small. I mean, this, this sort of situation here where we've got on a slider, a motorized slider, uh, we, you know, it can't take 
take the weight of a much larger studio camera, mm. but still you've got the remote control, you've got the ability to focus and mm. change the iris as it's moving, and gives you some very interesting options for, for, for sort of shots you couldn't get any other way. Mm. So to clarify for the audience, so recording-wise on this... You would it, have to record externally. Yes, yeah, so it's got so no internal media card no, slots. No, unlike the Micro Cinema camera, which has SD card slots, right. this doesn't have anything. So you're looking at something like a Blackmagic Hyperdeck Studio Pro to record yep. the 6 gig SDI from this, and that will record straight onto SSD drives. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that only comes out via the SDI, if That's you want right. the full yep. 4K? The HD, you get an HD output, through the HDMI and that's, as I say, that can be used to, to get into the menu system so you can sure. control it. Also for monitoring because you may want to yep. monitor it locally. You could you use something control like... Control your camera via HDMI, record yes. the camera via SDI. That's right. Awesome stuff. Anything else that we need to run down on this? Um, it's quite a good, a good partner for this would be the Blackmagic Video Assist because it would okay. give us some monitoring on the top and it has got a 6 gig SDI input. It mm. only records in HD but but okay. it will let you monitor the 6 gig SDI input as well. So, so you can effectively turn it into a full little camera package that's as right. long as you slap a video assist on the top. Exactly. Awesome stuff. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thanks it's nice much. to meet you.